Hey there, YouTube viewers. I am back yet again. Uh, it's it ha it's been very uh, it's been only a few days since I pushed up my first tutorial on PH the basics of PHP programming, uh, and this will be co officially considered PHP programming tutorial number two. In this tutorial, I'm going to hopefully go a little slower than the last one. I kind of I had to rush through that because we had to keep it under ten minutes. Damn you, YouTube! But what are you going to do about it? <coughs> uh, so like I said, in this one, I'm simply going to teach you guys how to get file input and pr file output. I sort of showed you uh, output in the first one, but I'm going to show you a little bit more in detail. So uh, like in the first tutorial, we did create our hello world with, uh, with a little bit extra where we echoed out your name as a variable. And our code looked something like so. Uh, this was actually uh, the, the exact example that we did through the first tutorial. Now we're going to change this up a bit. Uh, instead of we're, instead of displaying the words "Hello World," it's going to ask the user for their name, for their name, and then display it. Sorry, that was caps lock. Wow, that's still caps lock. There we go. Name and then display it. So we can all, uh, we can get rid of that. All right. So uh, if you don't have this typed out already, you you can type it out. Uh, you know, in the last video, in the last tutorial, I showed you how to start a PHP script with tags and how to comment. You can do that if you like. Uh, if you don't want to follow along, that's fine. But uh, I suggest you do. It's a lot. It's a lot easier to learn something when you're doing it yourself. But all right. So uh, like li I taught you in the first tutorial, you're gonna create a variable and have it equal. Uh, since you're going to be asking them for input, you can equal it to whatever because you're going to be changing it anyways. I'm going to have it equal to nothing. Just a string. So the name is equal to nothing. Uh, now what we're going to do is, now we have to ask the user for input. We're going to have to ask them for their name. So we're going to echo out, uh, please enter in your name. And then and of course like I said make sure you end it with the semicolon so you're gonna echo out please enter in your name uh, so far this has all been covered in tutorial one now something you haven't learned yet is how to get input from the user to get input and place it in to a certain variable you're gonna tell that to your computer so you're gonna p say name which is your variable up here name is equal to trim uh, f gets stdin bracket bracket. Now trim. Uh, what does trim do? Well, trim just pretty much when a person enters in the name, it just trims off the beginning spaces. If you like, if uh, the user inputs like a billion spaces and then their name, it'll trim that. Uh, f gets is just file get. You're gonna get their input. So you're going to file get stdin is standard input. std is standard, in is input. And that's all that really means. So trim, you're going to trim off any leading spaces. f gets is file gets. stdin is standard input. Uh, and that's pretty much how you get input. And now whenever they enter in their name, it's going to store the name into here. And it's going to overwrite this. Name does no longer equal nothing. And of course, then you can echo out uh, after hello. Okay. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. You echo out the words hello, but you also want to echo out name. What you could do is you could do that, and you can echo name, and then you can echo out. Oh, and that's it. You can echo name. But to do this all on one line, what you would do is you get rid of this okay now on in some programming languages languages like java you would normally do plus and then name oh wow my bad sorry name that's what you would do in java you do something like that in php to do the plus sign you simply do a dot dot means plus so you're going to echo out hello plus their name so let's see this run since it's modified, you're going to save it. You're going to go to your program, so hello world. 
you're gonna run your command line and you're gonna and uh, like I showed you in the first tutorial you have to change your directory to the same location where your file is located so since mine's on the desktop I gotta change my directory to the desktop and then we're gonna run the program I showed you how to do that in the first tutorial if you're still having troubles don't hesitate to email me I, I went a little fast so when we run it we're gonna have to wait there we go so now it is prompting us please enter in your name so my name is Curtis so I'm going wow geez I cannot spell today okay my name is Curtis so I'm gonna enter in my name and hit enter and see how it says hello and then my name again we can run that and type in a different name John hello John and that's how you that's how you get file input and then the output file input output uh, this is tutorial two of probably a lot so uh, and I hope you guys enjoy and learn a little bit PHP is a great language I, I like it uh, and so yeah, uh, I'll see you guys around shortly.